Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. All right. You think you can do this to me? I'm the man up in this piece. I run shit here. You just live here. King Kong ain't got shit on me. So some dude who stays dick right on my page, some dude named Air Freshener or Air Fabric Softener, whatever his name is, um, he made a comment on my video. Let's get to the comment. Terrence Crawford, three division undefeated champion, two division lineal champion, former undisputed champion, the only fighter in boxing history that is an active Hall of Famer, number one pound for pound boxer. Oops, in August of 2022, Errol and Bud knew no 2022 fight. Errol lies and says, in, I'm fighting in November with or without Bud. Number, uh, November 2, 2022, Errol tweets, I'm fighting someone else, and so is he, no tune-up. Errol vs. Thurman was due in 2022. Boots never petitioned Ortiz to step aside. Being Ortiz does not want to fight Bud. Boots was happy at number two spot on WWO, on w, I mean WBO, never moved to fight Bud, um, but petitioned IBF two times for Errol fight. Most important, Undisputed is on the table right now for Errol and Bud. Remember, strap season, or let me clean up my side of the street, strap season, big fish t-shirts, or cool, I'ma spin the block, or new big fight t-shirt waiting for Bud to answer. So Bud fighting Boots, who has not fought anyone, makes Bud, who is now number one pound for pound legit, and make Arrow now want to fight. When Undisputed, plus 25 million guarantee did not, nor the talk off of 100 million Undisputed, Right, with multiple question marks. Uh, uh, see, that's you. That's you right there. I see this your shit. Smile at that's you. You die. <laughs> 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 Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as you're trying to fight the great, the, your, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you go to the ground, we're the Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get the sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're the You wish the best, fight the best. If you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried. Too many come, but don't leave. So if you're here, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch, hate that. Be the best to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get the hands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Terrence Crawford, three division undefeated champion, two division lineal champ, former undisputed champion. Son of a fuck what? The only fighter in boxing history that is an active Hall of Famer num and number one pound for pound fighter. I guess you forgot about Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> boy, 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 <laughs> these kids are some circus clowns. <laughs> you know, they can't fuck with money, man. In August of 22, Errol and Bud knew no 2022 fight. <laughs> so then why in September of 2022 did Terrence Crawford say he agreed to all terms? Errol lies and says, in I'm fighting in November with or without Bud. November 2nd, 2022, Earl tweets, I'm fighting someone else, in capital letters, and so is he. No tune-up, in parentheses, 
Arrow versus Thurman was due 2022. Where did you get this information that Arrow was fighting in November with or without Bud? Where'd you get that? Because that is just sources. That is not Errol Spence. That is not Team Spence. That is sources. Sources say Errol is fighting November with or without Bud. That's what sources say, not Errol. Sources say that. You tell me where you got that information. Tell me where to look. You're a liar. All right, that's number one. So then you say, he tweets, I'm fighting someone else. Yes, he did tweet that in November. But what you failed to realize that in October, October 20th to be exact, Errol Spence said, nigga been stalling for months. I could have fought in November. Then he says, been fighting at this weight for over a decade. This shit ain't easy or fun. Errol Spence don't take tune-ups. We know that. Then you say, Errol versus Thurman was due in 2022. That's what you say. The irony of you saying that Errol versus Thurman was due 2022 is that is not what Mauricio Suleiman said. Keith Thurman was just the number one. He was not the mandatory. Keith Thurman got called the mandatory after the convention. That is the reason why Mauricio Suleiman said, no, the WBC's mandatory is next. Thurman is the number one contender, but everything will be seen at the WBC convention, meaning that he was the number one contender. The WBC convention is in October. All right, so after the WBC convention in October is when Keith Thurman was, be, was called as the mandatory. Before that, he was just number one. Not a mandatory, just number one. Um, but I'm sure you guys know that. So when a mandatory is called in October, you don't have to fight that, set that mandatory the exact same year. When your mandatory is called, they normally give you about a buck 20. <laughs> they give you a time frame to negotiate. They give you a time frame. So when that negotiation time frame runs out, then it goes to a purse bid. Yeah, they give you a time frame for a purse bid. They give you that time frame. So how the fuck was Keith Thurman versus Errol Spence supposed to happen in 2022? When he was called as a Mando in October. So, no, October, the end of October, the end of November, the end of December. That is two months. So, from October to November is one month. From November to December is two months. How the fuck was the fight going to be due in 2022? You're full of shit. Boots never petitioned Ortiz to step aside. Being Ortiz does not want to fight Bud. All caps. He's got to be an idiot to put those on social media. You fucking losers. Keep talking about some petition. What the fuck are you talking about? So Jerron Boots Ennis can just petition the guy in front of him to step aside. You're just, you, what the fuck? Yo, you guys are literally just making shit up, bro. You're just making shit up. That is not how that works at all. You're full of shit. You're just making shit up. So Boots can just petition the guy ahead of him to step aside. What the fuck are you talking about? Where did you get this information from? You're full of shit. Bro, the WBO will remove... Uh, um, they will remove Virgil Ortiz. And then Boots will be elevated to the number one spot. That's how it works. You don't petition shit. The, the only petition that you can do, the only petition that you can do is when the WBC moves you to number one, you can petition them to call you as the mandatory. That's it. That's all you can do. That's it. That's, that is it. And that doesn't even have to happen. It don't, don't matter if you petition. You fucking goofballs act like if you petition for something, then that's it. That, that's it. All you can do is petition for it and you got it. That is not how it works. 
you stupid, silly motherfucker. It, petitioning is like asking. Well, guess what, you fucking retard? You can ask a millionaire to give you a million dollars. If they say no, then you just ain't getting it. So it doesn't matter if you, peti if you petition the sanctioning bodies to make you anything or to do anything. If they say no, then that's just the end of it. And they don't have to tell the world that they said no. Oh, he didn't petition. Where are you getting this information from? You literally just made that shit up. Now, the talk about Virgil Ortiz, we can agree on because he's fighting Stan Baratheon when he's number one in the fucking WBO. Boots was happy at number two spot on WBO. Never moved to fight Bud, but petitioned the IBF two times for Arrow Fight. Jerron Boots Ennis has called for Terrence Crawford multiple times. He has called for Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford multiple times to include asking why did Terrence Crawford fight David Ambrosia instead of fighting him. Now you can say he didn't say that Terrence Crawford ducked him, but that's pretty much what he's saying. I wonder why he is fighting Ambrosia and not me. But you said that he sat the number two spot and never moved to fight Bud. What the fuck are you talking about? What? Well, what is he supposed? How is he supposed to move to fight Bud? And of course, he petitioned the IBF. Or did you miss the part where I said he was number one, and that's what number ones can do? We are number one. They can petition to become the mandatory. That's what they do. Most important. Undisputed is on the table right now for Errol and Bud. No shit, Sherlock. Remember, strap season or let me clean up my side of the street. Strap season, big fish t-shirts or cool, I'm going to spin the block or new big shirt, a big fight t-shirt waiting for Bud to answer. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. it. That's what, yeah, that's it. That's so if that's the case, why the fuck are you goofy, silly bastards talking about Boots? If Undisputed is on the line, then why are you talking about Errol Spence needs to fight Boots then? So Errol needs to fight Boots, but Bud don't need to fight Boots? Like, if Undisputed is the thing for both Errol and Bud, then don't Errol and Bud need to fight each other and not Boots nowhere around? Boots don't need to do nothing? But according to you, goofy bastards, uh... Errol got to fight Boots. And then you say, oh, well, you know, the spin the block. He shouldn't have to spin the block. All right? He should not have to spin nothing. He was on the block. What's next? Oh, everybody know who I want next. I want Terry Crawford next. You're going to make that happen? Huh? You're going to make that happen? Oh, definitely. That's the fight that I want. That's the fight everybody else want. And like I said, I'm going to get these straps and I'm going to go over there and take his shit too. All right. Errol, congratulations. Terrific fight this evening. Thank you, man. Now, straight season. I know what time it is, baby. Terrence, I come up for that motherfucking bell. What's up, bro? Why you at the house? You said you was going to beat my ass after class. Why you run home so fast? Come outside. I'm here. Come outside. Talking all that smack about my mama. Now you won't come out here and face me like a real cat. Bring your ass out the house and face me like a real cat. Yeah, the strap she's in, big, the big fish t-shirts in, in the second. He shouldn't have had to made a second t-shirt. This punk ass nigga should have fought him the first shirt he made. Or did you forget this goofy bastard fought David Ambrosia? Did you stupid ass niggas forget this? So then you say, so Bud fighting Boots, who has not fought anyone, makes Bud, who is now number one pound for pound, legit. Yes, because Bud hasn't fought no one either. A hundred million billion percent what the fuck are you talking about neither one of them have fought anybody neither one being pound for pound is someone's opinion you fucking dolt there is no factual basis behind that what are the, uh, you as somebody explained to me how terence crawford's pound for pound, pound for pound they will over every single time talk about how this month oh he was undisputed at 140 oh he fought in three divisions his accolades so, but he's undisputed at 140. So what? So? So what, what the fuck does that mean? Alexander Usyk was undisputed at cruiserweight. He's not undisputed right now. What are you talking about? 
Devin Haney is undisputed. Jamel Charlo is undisputed. What are you talking about? So if undisputed makes you pound for pound, then uh, it should be Jermel Charlo or Devin Haney as number one and two. Terrence Crawford is not undisputed. So what the fuck is you niggas talking about? Where are you getting this number? Where are you? What stats are y'all niggas using? What? You're just making this shit up because Max Kellerman and Sambo Bradley and some other goofy ass niggas voted this man as number one pound for pound that don't even study the fucking sport. You don't know what you're talking about. Then you say, and make Errol now want to fight. Errol has been wanting to fight. Or did you forget the fucking thing that you just said? The spin in the block and the strap season big fish t-shirts and all this other type of shit. Did you not forget? You just wrote that in there. Then you say, when undisputed plus 25 million guaranteed did not. 25 million guaranteed. What proof do you have that the 25 million was guaranteed? From who? Where is Jay-Z saying that I was going to give this 25 million or 50 million or whatever? Where is Warren Buffett saying this? Where? Find Ja Rule, get hold of this motherfucker so I can make sense of all this. So because Bud said it, then we're supposed to believe it. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. The same man that lied in the same fucking interview that he did where he said, Oh, the reason why Bob Arum, I, I didn't ask for a get up to see a transparency with Bob Arum is because I wasn't my own boss. This is the same man that said, well, yeah, the promoters and the managers work for us. Pull your panties up, Errol Spence. The same guy. Those two things cannot be true in the same fucking building. But I was signed to Bob Arum. I wasn't my own boss. But then you say, nor the talk off of a hundred plus million in Undisputed. You... you Bro, you cannot be fucking serious. You can't be fucking serious. If it's a hundred million dollar fight, then why is Terrence Crawford supposedly only offering 50 million? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. If it's a hundred million dollar fight. Oh, that's guaranteed. It's 25 guaranteed. That's what it is. 25 guaranteed. Well, where is Terrence Crawford saying 25 guaranteed plus pay-per-views? Where, where's that at? Are you tonight? Well, I don't, I don't remember that. 25 million guaranteed is what the man said. That's what he said. From some imaginary hedge fund, which he never told anybody who the fuck they are. But you niggas just made shit up. So what the fuck are you talking about? Facts are meaningless. You can use facts to prove anything that's even remotely true. Facts, Max. But again, you believe you can fuck with me. In my office, I was up from... <gasps> My office hours are from... BFTB. Shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC. I'll see you soon. Body bag in a body bag. <laughs>